Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. Oh, boop. <laughs> Gotta figure out how to point. Look who's here. I don't have a name yet, but coming soon. I'm still waiting on uh, responses from people. I have a favorite, but I'm gonna give a little more time for some more names to come in. So if you want to try to pick a name for the owl, the new mascot, the new Bolo Buddies mascot, Go to my most recent Easter Bolo category video and put your um, the best name you can think of, okay? And if you can think of like a cute phrase, um, kind of with a play on words or something like that to go with it, that would be cool too. So kind of playing around with some things here. All right, you guys. So we had a challenge. And it was the 99 cent auction challenge. And I'm telling you, there were some amazing bolos that were brought to those auctions. I mean, some people really brought some great stuff. And I'm going to share those bolos with you. I have 35 bolo items coming your way, items that you should definitely be on the lookout for, items that these resellers bought low and sold for pretty good to really great margins. So um, pretty impressed, pretty impressed. Now I will also say that some items went for less than I expected. And um, that's kind of a bummer. But um, everybody was awesome. Um, if you guys are watching, thank you for participating. Thank you for being a part of the challenge. Thank you for taking the risk of putting your items at 99 cents free shipping. It's a huge risk. and. Um, some of us, including myself, didn't get as much as we probably would have with a buy it now, but we met a lot of great people. We got new subscribers and let's get into some bolos. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. And most importantly, I am going to show you their channel, just a quick blimp of their channel. And if you guys would all go subscribe to them, that would be amazing. Check out their channel. They are all resellers and they are all fantastic. So let's get started. All right. Oh, uh, let me get my screen share up. All right. The first person is OBX Picker and um, his store is My Epic Shop which is a very cool name. That's his eBay store. So um, he has this Richard Petty hat. It's a snapback trucker hat. And let me tell you, it has the three stripes and the three stripes are definitely a bolo to look for. People want those three stripes. So um, yeah, this was a good one. I'm actually surprised it did not go higher. It does have a little bit of um, condition issues. So maybe that was part of it. Um, I don't know. That could probably be cleaned up pretty easy, probably just from storage. But yeah, those, those three stripes are definitely something to look for you guys. Okay. So this sold auction was all of these auctions were started at 99 cents free shipping. So this sold for 102.50 with 21 bids. Oh, he got this, um, at a private pick, bought 75 hats for $60. So he has less than a dollar in it. The next item is this uh, Nirvana Nevermind digital cassette. And it's got the um, cover that's kind of questionable. And it seems to always be a bolo when it's on the t-shirt. So it doesn't surprise me that it was a bolo on the um, cassette. And this he got at, came from me and two other resellers bought out a Radio Shack less than a dollar an item. Interesting. Okay, so this ended up selling for $108.09 with 37 bids. The next item are these Ray-Ban and my husband sports a pair of these um, that he picked up at a flea market. And I think they are super, super cool. Again, I'm surprised these didn't go for more, but he picked these up at an estate sale for $5 and they sold for 75. 
So he still made a nice profit, but could he have done better with a buy it now? Probably on all three of these items. I'm going to guess yes, but um, he still made a great profit. So uh, the next item is this a bull of a watch and it's a women's watch. And this came from a yard sale. He got it last year and he paid $3 in a bulk buy at the end of the day. So um, he sold it for $66.02. There you have it. And the last item he sold is this rare vintage starter jacket for the Charlotte Hornets. And we all know that starter jackets can most definitely be a bolo. Um, they can get up there. So this came from when he said, when I bought out a sporting goods store, only paid $750 for all the inventory. So he probably had less than 10 cents in this jacket. And it sold for $52 free shipping. All right, you guys, this is OBX Picker, and I am going to link all of the eBay stores and the YouTube channels down in the description of this video. So be sure to go down there and click on their channel and give them a sub. All right, the next person is, this is Philly Picker. And he got this calculator for $30 on clearance at a local pharmacy and it sold for $79. Um, so this would be an RA, retail arbitrage, and typically when you're doing RA, your margins are not going to be as big, but you can easily scan a barcode and have a pretty good idea of what that item is going to sell for. And you, know, you, you may not be sitting on it as long as maybe another item. Just depends. You have to be smart with RA because you can still sit on RA. I don't wanna make you think that you can't. So he sold this for $79 and had 30 in it. The next item is this Silver Surfer. Um, it's a comic book, I do believe. And it looks like it's graded at a 5.5. I know nothing about comic books or great. I think it's, yeah, it's a comic or grading or how any of that works. But this ended up selling for $76 with 23 bids. And he purchased this for $35 at Paul Antonelli's YouTube auction. The next item is this unpainted vintage lead minifigures and um, war game figures, two and a half pounds. So there they are. And he said that these were purchased in a $45 lot from Matt part-time pickers. So apparently he had a Instagram post and was selling maybe a lot of things for $45. That's how I'm reading this. And this ended up selling for $41 free shipping. The next item is this Nintendo Wii game bundle. And it's a Nintendo Wii with six games purchased for $15 at the Goodwill and sold for $87 free shipping. The next item is this Nintendo DS. It's the metallic pink rose. And this came from a garage sale for $5 and he sold it for $71.23. And the owner of these items are Philly Picker. So definitely go give him a sub. All right. The next item is, this is from Reads, Reads oh, I always mess it up. I always want to say it backwards. Mindful Recycle. Um, okay, so we have this sports Walkman, and we all know that, well, if you're in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, I post about Walkmans. So if you're not in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, there's a link down in the description, but they are definitely a Bolo. So this is a vintage Sony Walkman. It's a sports one. It's new old stock. It's still sealed. She picked this up at an estate sale for $28.88 and free shipping. Now, this was her big money bolo. The other four items, um, she had this Disney store jacket, which was super, super cute. I'm guessing it would have done a lot better on a buy it now. She had this other Walkman, probably would have done better on a buy it now. So I kind of feel like I feel a little bit responsible. I know I'm not. And I know that, you know, I gave everybody fair warning, like 99 cents free shipping, guys. Your item might not sell for as much as it would on a buy it now, you know. But um, the G.I. Joe's was one of her items. It went for 51. 
and these Lion King collectibles for $32.55. But the reason I pulled this up is because I was scrolling through her items and I was like educating myself. So we've got this pink label Barbara Streisand that went for $109.99. And these are not a part of the challenge. I just wanted to show you guys because there's some big money bolos here that I thought it would be important for us all to learn from. So this Magnavox cassette player, a Craftsman bench grinder, have no idea what that is, went for $149.99. This Cambridge Cameo Bible went for $74.99. Star Wars Falcon went for 49 and the buyer paid shipping on all these. Look at this, this Benjamin and Medwin, uh, copper brass handles, uh, their pots, 210.50. And again, I don't know what she paid for any of these things, but I was just checking it out and I was like, wow, 399 on this one. It's a locomotive and tender, um, LGB 2028 D. I don't know what any of that means, but it's a train. Look at these, Fitz and Floyd, the Old World Rabbit set, sold for $299.99. This huge Barbie lot, oh my goodness, look how many items are there. Vintage to now, $185, that sold for. Look at this Magnolite Court Covered Roaster, $222.50, that's cool. Uh, and this Pendleton Blanket that went for $100. So she definitely is a bolo finder. So. Head on over to Mindful Recycle and give her a sub. All right, who is next? Butterfly Hustles. All right, so this is a Big E denim jacket. And we all know that Big E can be a big bolo. Um, this one only went for $73. You guys, sometimes the Big E's go in the thousands. Um, I'm, I'm not sure why this one only went for $73. I, I think probably a men's size small is a harder item to sell, um, just because of the size. But, um, I don't know if anybody knows, put it down in the comments, but it sold for $73, which is still, um, a nice bolo. I, you know, depending on what she got it for, let's see, she got it for free. So yeah, that's definitely a bolo for her. So yeah, you definitely want to be on the lookout for Big E. I do think they are starting to uh, reproduce the Big E's. So be careful and make sure you don't get a repop. This is so cool. This is a vintage Reebok tracksuit. And this item, I'm guessing if she would have had a buy it now or best offer and waited it out, maybe she could have got a little more for this. But it did sell for $41. It's a super fun piece. I love how she put it on a yellow background. And she picked this up for $6.50, and I think it was a thrift store. So very, very cool. And this is Butterfly Hustles on YouTube, so please go over and give her a sub. And the next person is, I think this is, sorry, there were 29 of us that did this challenge. The Flipping Sports Guy. So this Wii Bundle it's a Nintendo Wii with the games and all of the accessories. Um, it ended up selling for $127.50. He said, I pieced this together from multiple buys. Buy cost was about $65 and it was $19 to ship. So um, the shipping did cut into his profits. Uh, this was a $0.99 cent free shipping and he did take a risk by listing something that was heavy. But, um, you know, that's you just never know. I don't know what Wii's are worth. I know that a lot of the gaming items are pretty hot. So, okay. So this Wii guitar, this is another item. I hate shipping these, so I don't pick them up. I know that they can be a bolo. Um, he got this for $4 at a local thrift store. It cost him $9 to ship it and it sold for $61. The next item is another bundle. It's another game system. It's a Sony PlayStation. And it's got the controllers, the microphones, and the games. This sold for $112.24. And it says, it was my PS2 from when I was a kid. Wow. And the new accessories cost him 10 bucks. So that's fun, right? It was his. Very cool. And these bolos belong to the Flipping Sports Guy. And again, all of these will be linked down in the description. So definitely go give him a sub. The next item came from Jen and 
Jen's Closet Gems. I wanted to make sure I said it right. And Jen, let's see. The Pokemon, Pokemon pulled out of a pack that cost $4 with 10 cards total. So technically paid about 40 cents for one card. So this is a trainer card. You guys, I know nothing about Pokemon. I know nothing about trading cards. So it says TCG Battle Styles. Ooh, how do you say that name? Is it Phoebe? I know I'm saying it wrong. Pho no, I don't know. P-H-O-E-B-E. -E. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will fill me in in the comments. Okay, so it's a, a card. And it sold for $44. And when she did her uh, video showing her items, it looked like comps were higher. So I think she was hoping that this was going to go for a little more. But given that she only spent $0.40 cents on it, $44 is pretty good profits. All right. The next item are these Coach sunglasses. They were given to her free through Facebook Marketplace. Wow. I want somebody to give me some Coach sunglasses free. And here she's got them on. She's sporting them. She's missing her blue lipstick, though. She has some really cool blue, blue lipstick. Okay, so these sold for $45 free shipping. Again, probably would have went higher with a buy it now. But you just never know with auctions, you guys. And I feel like eBay used to be like big time auctions. Please tell me I have my screen share on. Whew, I started thinking, is my screen share on? Um, but I don't feel like eBay is known for auctions like it used to be. All right, you guys, Jen's Closet Gems. Again, head on over and give her a sub. The next item. Okay, this came from the January house. And he picked this up in a storage locker. And when he averaged it all out, it probably cost him about 50 cents for this item. So here's the weird thing about this item. It's a, it's got an error because this person is not this person. Does that make sense? The person on the packaging, this is not Michael Myers. Who is it? It's Jason Voorhees. Voorhees. Guys, I know nothing about these figures, so I apologize. But somebody in my Facebook group said, oh, they could have um, just taken the plastic off and re-glued it on. And I'm like, and I, I don't think that January House did that, but maybe the person that put it in the storage unit, I don't know if this is a known thing or not. But to me, I'm just like, that's just something that somebody is assuming or making an assumption about. Um, I, I mean, it makes sense because you could really pull that off and maybe do that. But I would think if that were the case, look, you guys, if that was the case, you'd be able to see like where it ripped the packaging and you would be able to see glue, right? What do you guys think? I think it's legit. I think it's legit. And I'm certain that if he got it in a storage unit, you know, then it was something that happened before he got the item. Um, but either way, a great 99 cent free shipping item and um, a very, very cool piece either way, you know, because you are still getting the very cool packaging and the, the figure. But um, again, I don't think that's what happened. But anyway, this sold for $71, 25 bids and free shipping. The next item he sold, and again, I really, really think that he had awesome items that could have went for more if just the right person would have been watching. I mean, look how cool this is. Uh, Sailors and Soldiers Diary from 1920 with that super cool pencil. I mean, this is awesome. And it only went for $31. But I will tell you, ephemera can be a big money bolo. Diaries, depending on the content that's inside the diary, big money. So, um, I was hoping he was going to get really, really lucky with some of these, but unfortunately it only went for $31, which is a bummer, but a really, really cool item. And I really appreciate him bringing some, you know, neat stuff that can, you know, teach, help us learn. 
And here was the other item that also I thought could go for a lot of money. Um, it's a vintage 1929 special policeman permit card. Again, just really, really cool. Really, really old. And you're not going to find these everywhere. I really thought this one was going to go higher. But again, you know, it takes at least two people to really, really want the item and, and bid it up. So it still went for $27. And um, he bought, so for the diary, he bought an ephemera lot at a live auction. So that cost him about 25 cents. So 25 cents into $31. I'll take those margins all day long. Um, and then the other one, same ephemera lot, 25 cents and sold for 27. So that's still, you know, fantastic margins. You know, great. I mean, it's a piece of paper. You know what I mean? It's easy to list. Um, so go over and check out January house. And he also does auctions on his channel. So, um, be on the lookout for that. And, um, you can see he's got his what sold. So you guys all know that if you watch my channel, that what solds are a fantastic way to learn. So, um, all right, let's check out the next person. And the next reseller is Rachel Strickland and these Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks are almost always a, I don't want to say big, like huge money item, but they are a good selling item that can range. But most of the time, they're pretty good. These sold for $56. These are men's and they're more of a mule style and they do have some condition issues. So, um, like that on the toe, but they still sold for 56 bucks. So I have sold them in the past. Typically when I find them at garage sales, people are asking really high prices for them. So I don't pick them up very much because I don't want to pay as much as they're asking. But she got these at a yard sale for two bucks. So that was a nice find. They sold for $56. The next item are these Tommy Hilfiger um, vintage jeans. They're cargo jeans. She picked these up at a thrift store for $2.50. This item, I'm guessing if it would have been at a buy it now or best offer, maybe it would have went for more. I don't know. It's got some, looks like it's got a little bit. Nope. Maybe. What is that red? Maybe that's just where, I don't know. I saw this, the little X, but somebody might be able to get that out. So yeah, they only went for $36. So they may have gone for more with a buy it now, but she paid $2.50. So she is still in the green. The next item I was like, oh my goodness, please cover the shipping and let it go for a decent amount because these things are big. And I'm like, she is so brave. So it's a rock band PlayStation drum set with the pedal and the drumsticks. No reserve, free shipping. <gasps> it sold for $70. So um, I don't know what it ended up costing her to ship. It probably depends on where it was going. Hopefully it was somewhere close to her. Um, but she picked those up at a thrift store for $10. The next item is this custom faceless watercolor. So um, Rachel does paintings and they're faceless watercolor paintings. And she is really a great artist. And super, super cool. Um, I've never seen anything like it, to be honest. Um, but she, it's really, really neat. So I don't know if she like looks at somebody's picture and then paints them without a face, but what a cool, cool thing. And she did a custom faceless watercolor. So the proceeds from this went 100% to charity. So somebody got a really, really great item for $56. So I thought that was going to go much, much higher. But I love this wedding one. Isn't that cool? So cool. So yeah, 100% um, of the proceeds went to charity on that one. The next item is this ball. Okay, let's talk about these beach balls because... Some of them are a big money bolo. I have no idea why this one was not. I don't know if it depends on the age, if it depends on the style, but I was at the Goodwill Benz and um, 
I think it was my thrift haul against uh, me and one of my subscribers went up to the bins and battled it out. I think it was in that video and I missed a huge beach ball and I looked the one up that I missed and it was selling for a hundred dollars like sold comps. And I was like, Oh my goodness. I know that beach balls are a bolo, but for some reason this one only went for $13 and 50 cents. So again, I don't know if it's the brand. So before you pay up for a beach ball, definitely look it up and check the comps. But I was bummed out on that one. I thought that one was going to go higher than that. And she got this at a flea market for $6. So that was kind of a want wah and I feel bad. I hate that that happened. I was hoping that everybody was going to sell their things for top dollar. But I had a couple items that kind of want wah too. All right, you guys, Rachel Strickland. Okay. First off, I want to say that this girl has got amazing thumbnails. Look at her thumbnails. Like they just totally catch your eye. And then as I was scrolling down, I haven't watched this one yet. It says dropping fine China. Look, she's holding a box. Is she going to drop it? I just want to know, is she going to drop it? So I'm going to have to go and watch that. How to ship breakables. That is a great thumbnail. Like who else wants to go watch it to see if she drops the box and then looks to see if it made it? <gasps> oh my goodness. How fun is that? All right. Let's see. Who's next? Okay. We have um, Kidlets. Kidlet. I always say Kidlets. It's Resale Therapy Kidlet. I can't remember all the channels. I'm sorry. Um, all right. This is a AHP keepsake vintage 14 karat white gold diamond ring signed. And it sold for $115.08. 29 bids. Okay, wait, you guys, wait till you hear this. The next item is this vintage Christian Dior gold tone black faux pearl teardrop necklace signed. Sold for $61. Okay, there it is. All right, just wait. This is a Barry Kieselstein cord tortoise and hair sterling silver pendant sold for $110.50. Now here's the best part, you guys. She got these from a Goodwill blue box. She paid 35 or so for a five pound box. So she had maybe $1.50 for all three pieces. A Goodwill blue box. I've never gotten a Goodwill blue box. $35 for five pounds. And all three of these items were in it. Is that fantastic or what? That is fantastic. And here she is, Resale Therapy Kidlet. So head on over and give her a sub. The next one, if you missed the video, I did a whole video on. Um, his five items. And then I also did a featured seller video on plush that he sells. So if you missed that video, definitely go check it out. These five will be repeats if you're seeing this video first, but it is definitely worth going to watch it because he's got some really great plush that he um, sold in his store. So these garbage pail kids, um, it's 82 cards. It's a complete set series one matte original sold for $1,450, you guys. So he mowed lawns as a kid to purchase these at a local drive-in at a driftwood dairy near his house. He said he believes he was eight or nine years old. So this is his childhood collection. How fantastic is that? And it sold for $1,450. Wow. The next item are these Pokemon Champions Path Elite Trainer Box. I think these are cards. Um, the Pokemon cards are from GameStop. They were $50 a box, but I had a coupon for $50. So I paid nothing for Eevee and $50 for Charizard. Char I don't know how to say the Pokemon things. But either way, it sold for $193.69. The next item is this Nintendo Switch, and this came from $200 for the game system, or wait, no, I'm sorry, $200 for the system off of GameStop, 
50 for the games in the case was 95% off, so maybe a dollar. So $251 he has in it. So this is a retail arbitrage. Your margins are not going to be as big with RA, but he still turned $251 into $384. The next item is this GoPro Hero. And talk about a deal. Listen to this. The GoPro was on sale for $399 at Best Buy. They gave a bonus $70 back in gift cards. Plus, he had $150 in Best Buy certificates. So he paid $180. And he sold this for $405. So it is a GoPro Hero 9. The next item is the Sony PlayStation VR headset. And this was a Christmas present a few years back. The games were mostly from GameStop buyouts. So maybe a couple of dollars each. So probably about 30 into it. And he sold it for 510 The buyer did not pay. And I think he sent a second chance offer and sold it for $495. So, um, and I think they paid. So all of his items ended up getting paid for. And this is Zombie Bargain Hunter. He sells tons of plush and he has also bought out, I don't know how many game stops. So he has tons of games in his store. So definitely go sub him up. And that concludes this video. I will have another video featuring some of the other sellers that were participants in this challenge. So stay tuned for that. And it's either, I'm not sure which one I'm going to post first. It might be this one or it might be one of those. So just check my YouTube channel for that. All right, you guys, thanks for being here. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, thanks for watching.